So, Mod Shawnee, Mod Rahman, and Mod Harrison have told me that they have given me the Araxite pet. So, let's have a look whether this is actually true. If it is, I'm going to blow my head off. I really am. Oh man, oh dear, uh oh, let's have a look, yes, oh my god, forget that, I don't care, I'll pick it up later, I can't believe it, yes, Holy mother of orange Jesus, I have seen the light. This is unreal guys. Oh my god. It's real. I know it's pixels, technically not real, but it's real. I've got it. Yes! Damn you, I was gonna pick it back up. Damn! I couldn't pick up my rock tails that I dropped. No wonder I uh, lost the Eddie pet, guys. Can't even pick up my own rock tails. How the hell am I meant to pick up Eddie pets? Damn, did I roast myself there or what? That was brutal. Oh, can't say I didn't deserve that, guys. Can't say I didn't deserve that. But as you see, pretty much every single Araxor drop that I got since the end of Practice Pronus, I'm just going to talk about what happened here. And basically about Araxor and my plans for the future and a few other things. So basically it's going to be a rambly video guys, but it's actually a very important video for me because I've been meaning to tell you guys a lot of things over the past few months. And finally, I... I think this is a great chance to do that. So first of all, why did I not celebrate getting the Araxor base pet as much as you might expect? Well, the person who you heard saying yes, yes, yes was actually my friend Drew who was way more animated than I was. And the main reason for that was I had this really, really small nagging thought in the back of my head. As soon as I saw the base pet drop server wide message, I was like, that's good, but where is the message that says congratulations, you've unlocked this particular skin of the pet? I think I would have unlocked Steve because I was mailing. So I was like, okay, I didn't get that. And because I didn't get a skin, I'm not going to be able to actually summon the base pet. I didn't go to this much detail in my thought process in the seconds that followed the base pet drop. But I was a little bit hesitant because I knew that something was wrong there. Because obviously every single Araxor base pet drop I've seen from the first person point of view, either in a video or a screenshot on Reddit or something like that, I've always seen the congratulations skin unlocked message alongside it. So my first instinct was, okay, did my friend Drew just snipe the base pet off me? I would have been so, so depressed if that happened. No, that wasn't the case. I got the base pet, but then I didn't get the message. So that was the main reason I didn't celebrate as much as I wanted to. The second reason was obviously I wasn't expecting it. So I was kind of shocked, but that was the main reason. But thanks to you guys and to Jagex, Especially three mods, Mod Shawnee, the ever amazing and ever helpful Mod Shawnee, Mod Raman, and it was actually Mod Harrison who actually did the fix to give me my pet while I was at work. I was checking my Reddit and it turned out that Mod Harrison actually got me the pet in my account. So I will be eternally grateful to him. This means so much to me. It's very hard to explain in words how much this means because... Let me tell you something, if Jagex didn't restore the pet for whatever reason, I'm not going to blame them if they didn't. I mean, it's not like they had to, but they did, so thank you very much. But if they didn't, I would have lost all motivation to play the game. Because you, you come this far, you get the base pet, and you lose it to probably one of the rarest bugs in the game, which I still don't know what triggered me not getting the skin. So I've heard people say that you can't get skins in a geo, but people have also said that they've got the base pet in a geo and unlocked the skin in a subsequent solo and therefore unlocked the base pet. I didn't manage to do that. So obviously my account was glitched. And if Jagex hadn't helped me and I didn't get the base pet, I don't think I would have had the motivation to keep playing the game because a lot of stuff had been building up over the past six, seven months. IRL. I don't want to go into it too much because what's happened has happened. For better or for worse, things are looking up now and I want it to stay that way. But uh, basically, there are many reasons that 
I didn't make videos, I barely even played the game, to be fair, until recently, until about a month ago, I started playing it properly again. And even when I did play, there were only three things I did, basically. Number one was Araxel, Reaper or whatever, because I really do enjoy Araxel. Believe it or not, that is one of the reasons why I've got so many kills and why I kept going for it. It wasn't because I was determined to get the base bet. If all I was thinking about was getting the base bet, trust me, I would have been nowhere near getting it. A perfect example is the Dot Dive and Nexborough series. I haven't done any kills since about March or April this year, even though I only need the Pernix Chaps. And the reason for that is I don't really enjoy it. Simple as that. So the first thing I did was Araxo. The second thing was raids every two days with my friends, especially Wildman. And it's Alex, who, by the way, if you didn't know, is the one who suggested that I have the objectives that I do have for my Mastering Manifold series, so thank you very much, Alex. I've sniped far too many things off him at Araxel and also at other bosses. I feel really sorry for him. But um, the good thing is that he got a soul fragment minutes after I got the base pet, so that's awesome to see. And it only took him about 200 kills, 200 Magister kills, so um, very happy for him. And yeah, the third thing I did was trying to retrim, so doing a lot of Slayo, and I started started enjoying Slayer. So that, those were the three things that I was basically doing every time I logged in, which wasn't that often to be fair. There were so many opportunities for me to quit the game in the last few months. But the reason I didn't quit the game was very simple. It's almost obvious what it is. It's because I still enjoy playing RuneScape. If I didn't enjoy playing RuneScape, I would not be making videos, number one. I would not be playing the game number two and number three I would have told you guys because I feel one of the most important duties a youtuber has is to tell his subscribers tell his followers tell the people who've been supporting him watching his content him being me by the way and also going along with me for the ride in terms of my YouTube career as well. So I feel it's very important to keep you guys updated, not not about my personal business, but generally about what's going on in my life without going into too much personal detail. So if and when the day comes where I stop enjoying RuneScape and I feel it's time to move on, I will tell you guys. Fortunately, the day hasn't come, although I have come close in the last few months, but uh, I'm not ruling anything out. Because when all said and done, the only reason we play RuneScape is because we enjoy it. Well, that's the only reason I play it. If I stop enjoying it, then there's no point playing it. Because after all, it is just a hobby. Now more so than ever, because now I've started working, I've finished university, and I have very little time to play the game, let alone make videos these days. So yeah, enough of all that. Let's move on to the future. What's going to happen now? Well, it's the end of a meme, that's for sure. Name a more iconic duo, Zen and the base bet. Nothing more iconic than that. Maybe Zen and Nex, I don't know. But uh, that's the end of that. There will be a new meme now, I guess. Will Zen pick up any future boss pets? Because every single boss pet from now on is going to be a drop on the floor. So that's going to be a challenge, picking things up. Except the uh, Barry and Mallory pet, I guess that'll be in the chest, so I'll just have to make sure I bank it and not discard it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be a challenge. But now that I've got the base bet, I've shared with you guys my pure and unadulterated happiness at seeing that peat pet. What I'm going to do is obviously unlock all the skins and hopefully make a guide for that, because I don't think there is a there is one. Not that there's, there's any complication with unlocking all six skins but um, anyway why not make a guide if you can this was always my plan so yeah that's gonna happen and then I'm gonna get Barry and Mallory very quickly after that I'm pretty sure because the threshold for Barry and Mallory is 200 and I've passed the threshold the maximum possible number of times which is nine times so that basically means that at 1.8k Araxo kills you have hit the maximum possible chance of getting the Barry and Mallory pet from one 1 in 500 to 1 in 50. So that is my chance of getting those, which basically means I'll get them reasonably quickly. It's only slightly rarer than a leg piece. And by the way, I haven't been too unlucky with leg pieces overall. I do count all my Araxor drops, and I've got 22 middles, 19 tops, and 19 bottoms in 2.8 kkc, which is about 1 in 47. I guess it's on the wrong side of the average. I think the average is 40... 
or 45 or 42 or something like that but I haven't had too many terrible streaks and that's also one of the things that's kept me going the cash that I get from Araxel something else that I was really annoyed about it's something I can't really avoid I don't know why you probably noticed that by now but uh, I die a lot I die so much that uh, these days I don't have enough cash to pay for my own deaths. I have to go to the max guild and sell something from my loot tab to to get enough money. That's really embarrassing. But hey, that's what makes uh, makes me a noob in disguise. So yeah, imagine if I didn't die. I probably died, on average, I'd say, what, one every six or seven Araxo kills I did overall. So that's adding about 400 to 500 potential kills to my KC, which I lost because I kept dying. Back when I had a really bad laptop, I used to die so much. And every time I died, I used to think that could have been a base bet and you wouldn't even know whether it was a base bet because he died. Shame on you, Zen. So I died a little bit less, but I still died a lot. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm just rambling now. Just think about the past. I made quite a few Araxo videos. A lot of them are quite popular. In fact, I think... um, My most memorable Araxo video was a guide on how to maximize pet chance by running around the room in P4 to maximize the enrage gains during the kill. So I don't think any sane person would have made a video like that unless they were so desperate to get the base bet, which I was at the time. And then I quickly gave up on that idea because I had to forfeit every loot I got. So I just went back to doing normal kills again. I probably re-rolled about a quarter to a third of all my drops, which is... If you think about it, it's quite a lot. Obviously, I didn't re-roll fangs or leg pieces or anything like that, but still. So yeah, when all's said and done, I've really enjoyed my time at Araxel, as you can tell. And I don't intend to stop there because I have to finish off quite a few leg pieces. I've got four middles in my bank and only one of the other two. So a lot of Araxel to come. But most importantly, it's time to start the Insane Final Ball series. I'm sure you're all very excited for that. I certainly am. I've had to wait nine months since the end end of episode 13 of Pater de Pronus. I've got nine months of every single PVM boss drop since then. I've got it all stored up so I intend on making an episode zero to kick things off and I need your guys' help because I want to have quite a few goals on my way to Insane Fighter Boss. Obviously splitting it up into smaller chunks and smaller goals is probably going to be really useful in terms of motivation but also in terms of seeing progress very quickly and being able to tick things off within the space of one episode. For example if I get really unlucky and I don't get any boss pets for a few episodes that'll suck for someone watching because I wouldn't have achieved much whereas if I had another goal something that didn't involve pets but other drops or completing a weapon or something like that that would be really good so if you guys have any ideas please tell me I have a few ideas myself but I'm not sure the point is that I want to have small achievable realistic goals on my way to getting into find a boss so that It's not only fun for me to do, but also fun for you guys to watch. Um, Fun for me to compile the clips together in different ways. And if you have any really good ideas, please let me know. I'm very, very keen to hear about it. And I might even implement some of it in my video. So episode zero will be out soon. Hope you look forward to that. I will stop rambling and get on with what needs to be done, which is to uh, first of all get the remaining Araxor pets and then move on to the other bosses, which a lot of you have been telling me about, especially Telos. Everyone's been telling me to do Telos and AOD because um, they are probably the two most profitable bosses in the game right now. Telos by far. But uh, the problem with Telos is I tried going back there once since I got the 100% enrage kill for Trim and I died about 10 times and only got one kill. I know that's common because I'm learning but that really doesn't help in terms of motivation. I will go back there eventually but um, I don't think it will be the first goal of mine after getting Mallory. So I gotta get Mallory and then move on to the other stuff. So let me know about your thoughts. Uh, Like I said, I think I said that before. Yeah, I did. Zen, you're rambling now. Right, it's time to finish the video. I'm just gonna finish off by saying that I am very, very grateful to Jagex. You guys are real heroes for doing this for me because I genuinely don't think I would have continued playing the game if I did (laughs) if I didn't get my glitch corrected and I never got the base bet despite getting it. I wouldn't have had the willpower to kill at five point 
6k times or whatever the highest streak was. By the way, until I got the base bet, I think I might have been the highest unbroken streak in terms of number of kills without having the base bet. Obviously, now that I've got the base bet, I'm nowhere near the driest. I think the driest is 5 point something K. But yeah, thank you very much, Jagex. Thank you to the unsung hero, wildman 18 Dew, for giving me the heart attack. If I was soloing, I probably would have had this problem. So um, yeah, as usual, Drew is the uh, person I have to consider both a curse and a gift. A curse because, well, (laughs) if I didn't deal with him, I probably would have got the pet without any troubles. But also a blessing because, um, well, it's been a blast of a couple of days thanks to um, him being in the kill and me glitching out and... uh, Jagex stepping in and you guys watching this extremely rare event unfold so thank you to him thank you to Jagex and finally thank you to you guys for all your support that's also one of the things that's kept me going over the last few months and uh, now it's time to look forward to the future so uh, yeah 30 something boss pets to pick up it's going to be really difficult if you see me getting a pet make sure you spam and tell me to pick it up before I forget so um yeah, I'm going to go duo some of the remaining boss pets as well with Wildman and Alex. I'm going to do some duo Telos with Wildman and some duo Kibidi with Alex. That should be pretty fun. See you guys in the next one.